Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Electric Viking. Fantastic to see you. Thank you for subscribing. Been lots of new subscribers lately. Makes a huge difference to the site. It enables to me, me to make more content and spend more of my day focusing on this. Now, many of you have asked, in fact, a lot of my friends and family have also asked if there's going to be an electric pickup truck, an electric ute coming to Australia. So I'm basically making this video for you Australians out there and you guys and girls that are not in Australia. Well, this stuff ha does have some relevancy to you as well because the two vehicles that I'm about to talk about, I believe will be coming to not just Australia, also to Europe, the UK and New Zealand. So if you want from one of those places, then I believe these two vehicles will affect you and will actually be sold in your country as well. Now, some of you have probably already seen the article on The Driven on September 8th titled The Electric Use That Will Be The First To Tow Your Boat And Power Our Trades." Now, I'm going to dispel some of this article because I think that it's highly optimistic. Now, obviously, the announcements about new electric utes have been coming very fast and frequently lately. So the big question here is which two will arrive first? I'm going to tell you which they're going to be. Now, obviously, Ford and General Motors have unveiled their pickup trucks, the F-150E or F-150 Lightning and the Hummer EV, which is an enormous beast of a vehicle. Now, neither of those are coming to Australia. Others are saying, uh, the article here says, don't expect to see them here soon. No, no, they're not coming to Australia full stop. It's not happening. There is just way too much demand for them in the United States. They're it's not coming. They're not coming to Australia. They can't sell pickup trucks here when there's huge demand that are not EVs for the last 10 years. They're not going to sell one of these here. It's just not happening. So even though Ford has indicated it will bring all electric vehicles to Australia at some point, it's not said when, and GM has not said if they will be either. Now, the reason they have neither said, neither of them have said when is because it's not going to happen. By the time that they're actually capable of selling them here or finally change their minds and decide to do it, they'll be bankrupt. So forget about that. Now, the Cybertruck. What about the Cybertruck? Well, Tesla hasn't said they're going to be selling it here, but we do know that, tes that Tesla has more than 20,000 reservations from Australia alone for the Cybertruck. Now, when I last looked, it was 20,000, and that was a couple of months ago. So it might be, it's probably a couple of thousand more than that by now. Now, obviously, the Cybertruck is the most anticipated of every electric truck coming worldwide. In fact, it's the most anticipated vehicle ever in the history of vehicles. I mean, what other vehicle has ever had 1.35 million reservations? Probably 2 million reservations by the time it's actually released. Maybe more than that now that there's going to be a bit of a delay in development. Now, I personally have an order in, a pre-order in for a Cybertruck. It only cost me 100 US dollars, but that said, I'm a very serious buyer. I, would, I want to buy a Cybertruck. If Tesla could sell me right now, one right now, I would buy it. But this isn't happening either. It's happening, but you're probably looking at least three years into the future before we see a Tesla Cybertruck here in Australia. I'm sorry to say that, but that's just the, situate, the reality of the situation we're in. The majority of Tesla's pre-orders for the Cybertruck are in the United States where they make the thing, right? It's made in Austin, Texas, which is Ute capital of the world, truck pickup truck capital of the world. And they just can't, they're not going to be able to fulfill those 2 million orders within three years that they just have a lot the orders they have alone for america they're not going to have to fulfill it's going to just be the most popular vehicle in history probably in the united states so it's not coming to australia for a long time sadly now now the driven talks about a hydrogen powered h2x warigo which is basically a ford ranger turned into a hydrogen powered ute and it's oh, frankly it's a joke now H2X here in Australia says they have already have massive, massive interest. Okay, despite its eye-watering price at $250,000 per vehicle, based on the 200 plus orders worth $50 million it has claimed in the first week after its launch. Now, it literally costs between $200,000 and $250,000, depending on the model, but it's ridiculous. I've seen the specifications and it's not even that good. And there's nowhere to even get hydrogen in Australia. If you bought one of these, you'd have nowhere to fill it up. It's a joke, basically. That isn't happening. Why they even listed this car in the article? I don't know. Now, there's another vehicle coming to Australia, and it is coming, called the Atlas XT. 19,000 of which have been secured in a deal between US EV startup Atlas Motors 
and OzMV, which imports American vehicles and remanufactures them for the Australian market. Now, the Driven reported that this new deal will see the work electric ute partially made in Queensland. And it's slated to arrive in 2023 and promises everything from multiple power ports, as much as 800 kilometres of driving range, huge amounts of torque, 16,000 newt meters and 600 horsepower, and an ultra fast charging battery. Now, Pricing is expected to be well over $100,000, probably between $150,000 and $200,000. Now, the Driven claims that Oz MV's audience are already willing to drop this much for a remanufactured RAM, so it's likely they will enjoy considerable demand. Now, I don't think the Driven really actually understands what they're talking about here. Sorry, guys, you're a great website, but pickup trucks is not your thing. Now, people don't pay that much for a remanufactured RAM. You can actually buy a remanufactured RAM for $80,000. The top spec model is 100,000. Now compare that to 150 to 200,000. That's nearly double. That's nearly double the price. That's an entirely different market segment. And actually, remanufactured vehicles in that market segment in Australia are very tiny amount of sales. In fact, it's minuscule. So will that be a pickup truck you will want to buy and that will even arrive here by 2023? I, I doubt it. I highly doubt it. A pickup truck with 800 kilometers of range from a virtually unknown company. Yeah. Now, maybe 2025, by then, will you really be willing to pay 150 to 200,000 for a vehicle with these specs when you can buy it elsewhere for 80? It's not going to happen. Sorry, that one, no. Now, interestingly, the one vehicle manufacturer here that the Driven calls a wild card is in fact not a wild card at all. Now, Great Wall Motors first unveiled their prototype electric ute with 450 kilometers of range in 2020. And GWM is on record saying, it is not a matter of if, but when this comes to Australia. Now, GWM are already bringing electric cars to Australia next year via the Aura brand, which they own. That is confirmed. They're coming not only to Australia, but also to Europe. That is also confirmed. GWM have said they're bringing an electric vehicle here. They're already bringing EVs here next year. So... Yes, that's the answer. That is one of the two that will be here. I would say in 2023, very likely at a price you can realistically afford with a range that is probably reasonable. Now, with ICE, GM, Haval, Great Wall Motors, Haval, Utes priced from 33,000 Australian dollars, so around about 25,000 Australian dollars, it's very likely we'll see an electric version under $60,000. Now, the average sale price for a ute or a pickup truck in Australia is around about $50,000. So it's in the price segment that people can afford. It's in the price segment that you can probably afford if you want to stretch for a pickup truck because they just cost more than others. And it's coming. I'm telling you now, it is most certainly coming. Okay. The article also goes on to mention Rivian, who they claim is the most likely pickup truck to come to Australia first. In fact, they claim it'll come in 2022. Now, they say that the R1T electric ute and the R1S electric SUV, which now have official EPA range ratings of 505 kilometers and 509 kilometers respectively, are priced from US $67,500. So will sit in the top half of the ute market in Australia. Now, Bridie Schmidt, who wrote this article, mm, yeah. Okay, Bridie, I love what you've done here that you've gone to this effort. Rivian, as you say, have a couple of vehicles here in Australia, but the fact that they've attracted funding from Ford, Amazon, and other companies means nothing to whether or not they'll actually sell a pickup truck in Australia because it most certainly won't happen in 2022, as you claim. At best, 2024. Now, Rivian has a lot of demand for their pickup truck in the United States because there won't be pickup trucks for sale in the United States for a long time. They're going to be the first to market this year. Tesla won't be to, uh, won't be making their Cybertruck in large numbers until 2023 in the United States. And Ford is not making anywhere near enough EVs, trucks in the United States to satisfy demand. They already have hundreds of thousands of pre-orders for a truck that they planned on only making a few thousand of. They've changed their mind now. But still, Ford is going to come nowhere near satisfying demand. And they're not going to come out until middle of next year anyway, towards the end of next year. So Rivian has the pickup market. 
the electric pickup truck market cornered in the United States for the next probably probably 18 months. And there is no chance Rivian are going to go, yeah, we, let's remanufacture these things, turn them into right-hand drive, make a new factory to have a new production line to do this and sell them in Australia for the US $67,500 plus the cost of shipping, plus the cost to actually build them in right-hand drive. You're looking at, they're going to be, have to be selling them here in Australia for $120,000, considering they're only a little bit bigger than a Ford Ranger, only a little bit bigger. I find it hard to believe Rivian see a good business case for bringing out their pickup truck in Australia within the next two years. That is highly improbable. So that leaves one other possibility, and it comes down to BYD. Why do I say BYD? Well, in February of this year, BYD already had a prototype vehicle of their pickup truck. Now, unlike Rivian or any other manufacturers in this list at this point in time, at this point in time, yes, I know Tesla's going to make batteries in the future, but not quite yet. They are the only company in the world who makes batteries, and they make them at a lower cost than anyone else, as far as we know, that is. And they're capable of selling their ICE vehicles at the same price as their electric vehicles, or vice versa, right? So BYD have a pickup truck. They're working on it. They've confirmed it's an electric truck. Nextport, the CEO of the Australian distributor in Australia, has confirmed the pickup truck is coming, right? He's confirmed it's coming, likely in 2023, he says. BYD have the battery capacity to build these trucks. They're the fourth largest battery company in the world. It's BYD. Now, in my view, BYD will win the race to become Australia's first all-electric dual-cab ute. And their EV tough truck will definitely rival the Toyota Hilux and the Ford Ranger. In fact, I think it's going to kick their ass, to be honest. I think by 2023, people are going to know the writing's on the wall. They're not going to want these crappy ice trucks anymore that have multitude, litany, huge different problems. Their towing is garbage. Let's be honest, they, all, they can all only tow after you actually include the vehicle mass, the mass of the occupants, the mass of the things in the, in the vehicle. They can only tow maximum of three tons. It's a joke, right? That's why so many buyers in Australia are buying these American remanufactured utes, not the ones she's talking about that cost more, 150000 the ones that cost eighty to 100000 Now, the BYD truck will enable it to tow more than that because electric motors have enormous amounts of torque. Just look at the Tesla Model S Plaid. That, the torque of that thing is... I mean, it's got to be over 2,000 newton meters. It's crazy. Now, that's exactly what you want for a pickup truck. Now, BYD will carve out a huge market in Australia with their dual cab. And I believe they'll also carve out a market with this vehicle in other countries, such as New Zealand, the UK, and potentially in Europe. Now, BYD says all six models they're bringing to Australia, which includes the pickup truck, are coming within the next two years. That means it's coming no later than 2023. And he even confirmed that they will have a pickup truck within that time frame. He said it's under development. In February, they already had a prototype. It's still under development now, but it will be here, he says, in 2023. It's 100% electric and will have everything you want to have. So I'm a little confused why the Driven have said that, have not really mentioned BYD. Uh baffling to me. Maybe they don't like Chinese vehicles, possibly. But remember, this vehicle actually, while it is Chinese, Nextport have an enormous workforce here in Australia. And in fact, they're doing a lot of remanufacturing here in Australia. They build buses here in Australia, they have enormous EV presence here in Australia, and they're planning to grow that. So there is a lot of Australian jobs involved here as well. Now, personally, I'm excited to see this BYD pickup truck, this BYD ute, in Australia. I'm excited to see it in other countries as well. And Mr. Todd, the CEO, promises that it will deliver everything you want, including a minimum 450 kilometer driving range. Personally, I'd prefer a driving range of, say, 600 kilometers. Hopefully, they'll have different variants so you can pay a bit more to get a bigger battery pack. He said it's not as wild as a Tesla Cybertruck, but it will actually be a very desirable, practical, and very spacious dual cab pickup or ute. And he goes on to say, it's hard to work out whether we want to call it a ute or a pickup. 
Obviously, models like the Rivian R1T are pickups, and it's more in that kind of vein than it is a classical Holden or Ford Ute. This is more like a luxury vehicle that also happens to have the carrying capacity at the back. Now, there had been talk that it would be built in New South Wales, but that seems to have cooled off, and it appears as though it will now be built in China at one of BYD's factories. We know so many people who are interested, and as many people want to transition to EV, it will be a tremendous success, Todd says. So there you have it. The two pickup trucks coming to Australia, both of them will probably be here in 2023. In fact, I'd be willing to bet money they'll both be here in 2023. The BYD Ute and the Great Wall Motors Ute. They're both coming from China. And hey, if we see the Riven RNT come out, great. I'm all for it. Fantastic. But it will be probably double the price of these two vehicles. Now, as you know, like I said, I have a pre-order in for my Cybertruck. And no matter what happens, I plan on sticking with it. But I don't expect to be able to get one until 2025 at the earliest. I'm just a realist in this area. But hey, it's exciting news. It's great news. We're going to have more options. We're going to have what I consider real options. I'm not a big fan of diesel vehicles because they cause cancer. As you know, I'm not a big fan of buying old technology, of buying old Nokia mobile phones. I don't jump onto eBay and try and find old shit and pay more for it. So I'm excited for the future. I hope you are too. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.